Hello everyone, it's Alpha Heavy Gamer back again with some exciting news about War Thunder. Gaijin is looking to heat up the end of the summer with an ice cold edition from Scandinavia in their latest update, this time called Direct Hit. In this trailer, there are many vehicles, but the star of the show and the one I'm going to talk about first is the Saab 37 Vigan. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Vigan is finally coming to the game. And it looks to be coming in stark fashion. There were multiple versions of the Vigan built. Uh, covering ground attack, air intercept, and reconnaissance. I can't tell from the trailer which one this is, but my money is on the JA-37, the dedicated all-weather fighter interceptor version with a secondary strike roll. Meaning that the AJ-37, the dedicated ground attack version, may also be making an appearance at a later time. So if the trailer does depict the J-37 carrying six RB-24Js, we are in for some good times. The J-37 features the Ericsson PS-46A Pulse Doppler Lookdown Shootdown Radar, which means radar target acquisition at low altitudes will no longer be a problem, friends. It's going to be easy to reject that ground clutter. So that's good news, and here's some even better news. Couple all that with the fact that the J-37 was capable of carrying the Skyflash semi-active radar homing missile, and this thing should rival the uh, British Phantoms in game with their Pulse Doppler system. As more details emerge from Gaijin, we'll get a better picture of what's in store for this jet. So next we have the MiG-27 Flogger, which is a dedicated ground attack version of the MiG-23. I was waiting for this aircraft to come to the game, and I'm also pretty excited about this one as well. There are so many versions of this aircraft, so I'll just focus on what it brings to the game. So we're going to be getting a dedicated strike fighter with a high degree of survivability. Its avionics, the arm around the cockpit, and the weapons it has should be formidable in the game. The aircraft is also equipped with laser guided weapons, which is nice for increased accuracy. On the ground side of things, it looks like the Russian tech tree is yet again getting shiny new pixels. I saw what looked like the Spruit SD light tank. This little demon sports a 125mm gun with some very good ammunition choices. Apparently can even use ATGMs. It of course is very lightly armored and will be very mobile, but not as mobile as the BMD-4, mainly because it weighs 18 tons compared to the 13 tons of the BMD-4. Last up is the commander's thermal sight on the T-80 in the trailer. It looks to be getting some type of upgrade package versus a completely new vehicle. Also saw what looks like some kind of IR system on the front of the turret. Good times for Russian mains, um, which I kind of am a Russian main. Um, seems like we're always getting something new, right? So that's all for today. This is a pretty quick video. If you uh, enjoyed what you uh, saw and heard here, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out and I'll see you in a future video.